Eight women have accused longtime TV host Charlie Rose of making unwanted sexual advances. The alleged victims told the Washington Post that Rose would make lewd phone calls to them, shamelessly walk around naked in their presence and grope them. His targets reportedly age 21 to 37 at the time of their experiences were either employees for Rose or aspired to be from 1990 to 2011. Throughout his career as a co-host for CBS This Morning and a correspondent for 60 Minutes, Rose was known to cozy up to Democrats. Take a look. We turn now to what many consider to be perhaps the best week of President Obama's second term. The week began with a victory on Pacific Rim trade, with the Senate giving Obama the green light to move forward in negotiations with 11 other countries. Why is it they don't like this president so much? I mean, is it, is it a spillover from Obamacare? That's the or best something? thing you can say about the Affordable Care Act. That it's forced us to have a debate about health insurance in America. Yeah. Projected costs have not been as bad as they assumed. They're not been as good as they proclaimed either. Yeah, but it's been mean, less than was assumed. There's but, no one I know in politics, from the left, the right, Republican, Democrat, male or female, that doesn't say Bill Clinton is the best political animal that's ever been <laughs> in American politics. This is what one reviewer said. What happens is not one book, but many. It is a candid and blackly funny account of her mood in the direct aftermath of losing to Donald Trump. It is a feminist manifesto. It is a score-settling jubilee. It is a rant against James Comey, Bernie Sanders, the media, James B. Comey, Vladimir Putin, and James B. Comey. <laughs> it's a primer on Russian spying. It is a thumping of Trump. I sometimes wonder if you add together his time spent on golf, Twitter, and cable news, she writes, what's left. Uh, so congratulations. Well, Thank you. Why do you want to be president? I mean, you've had a remarkable life. My Angelou, the late my Angelou, wrote a poem about her during the 2008 presidential campaign. It contains these lines. There is a world of difference between being a woman and being an old female. Hillary Clinton is a woman. Some say she may be the first woman in the White House. I am pleased to have Hillary Clinton back at this table. Welcome. Thank it's you, Charlie. It's a pleasure to have you here. It is great to be yeah. back with you. Thank I, you. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm full, full disclosure, I consider Hillary Clinton a friend and, and proud to have her.